السلام عليكم استاذ حمزه I've been teaching Quran for over 11 years a great part of your learning learning Quran or learning anything is self learning your teacher is not going to be there for you teaching you 24/7 the teacher will give you a golden touch and then you have to go and work on your own and we call this homework my online programs are slightly different we do have homework but i don't let my students do homework on their own i don't want them to open the quran and read because there's a high very high chance that they're reading wrong and no one is correcting them and this happens all the time i teach a student i say bismillahirrahmanirrahim they go and they learn rahmanirrahim and sometimes they're very hard working students they would read it 10 times and they come back and they just ruined rahma ha they just ruined ha and they made a ha so i have to redo that so with my online programs i give homework and it's videos videos they watch so i'm going to show you an example of one of our students from south africa she's going to recite and i'm going to give her feedback the reason i want you to observe her reading because i want you to understand something and that is even though you do homework and the homework can be a video something very simple you might think that you learnt but that's really not the case and this is why the same lesson that you learn once you have to go over it again and again and again and that's why we record our live sessions i tell my students all the time i'm going to record this session go and watch it go and watch it because you might think oh start corrected me oh now i know this but you might not so the student will recite they will make mistakes i'm going to give them feedback inshallah ta'ala and let me know what you guys think <laughs> There's a mistake here. Would like you to correct yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't have to repeat. Oh, yes, yes. There's a mistake. Again? Okay, we're not going to do this. We're going to stop exactly where I showed you, which is Jannat. So another thing, guys, this is important. If you stop only where I showed you, then your mind will be busy with the recitation. Not busy thinking, how can I get to the end of the ayah? This is why we already have a mark here. Stop at Jannat. Read again. Jannat Ta'inda. You have a lot of mads and ghunnas here. I don't want you to be worried about where to stop. So let's start one more time. Jazauhum. Jazauhum. Jannat. Oh, oh, you missed a mud? Oh, the recitation was nice. I would really like you to refine it. So go over the course of Surah al bayina If you're watching this video, it means you're serious. And I love serious students. Link in the description. Join one of my online programs where I will teach you, inshallah ta'ala, in a live class and you will have access to so many cool courses that will enable you to learn better and better, inshallah. 
I'll see you soon. Salam alaikum. Salam, 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 salam.